Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome into a short little guide on how to make some parking lots behind your buildings with node controller and parking a lot roads and move it in city skylines. So if you're like me, you like having some space between your commercial buildings going through your town for parking and for deliveries, especially if you use the building spawn point mod and you want to change all your building spawn points to be behind the buildings instead of in front where your main traffic and everything is at. Having a little alleyway like this is really, really beneficial. But sometimes you come up with some odd shapes. It's not always a straight line. Maybe it curves down like this, like mine does. Well, normally when you're trying to do this, you're going to end up with some really weird curvy lines and it might not look so good. Well, let me show you how I came up with this little system right here to create this very nice and easy to put together alleyway. Right, so here we are with what is what you would start with. Basically, once you have your buildings in place, you got this weird little spot right here that you're wanting to put in an alleyway and make it functional. So we're going to start with our parking lot roads. We're going to grab a, a um, the 22 meter poorly maintained. So parking on both sides. And we're going to pull that right down the center, right to about here. Then we're going to pull it right. Let's see if I can't get it to not snap and destroy everything. You know what? Right there will work. I have a second node. That's what I'm wanting. We've got two nodes. Perfect. I'm going to bring that one to here and bring that one over here. Now, with this one right here, we're going to go over and you can grab any roads you want. I like to use the big rural asphalt road for going in between and making alleyways down my uh, in my cities. So I'm trying not to destroy this little prop that I have right here. But all right, let's pull him right to there. Good deal. So got a little snaky thing going on. Now, here's where some of the fun starts. We're going to go under node controller. We're going to add a node in right there. Now we're going to pull him back over here. Just a moment. I'm going to pull him up. Now, let's try to get everything sort of lined up where we want it. We're going to turn on grid snapping. I want to get him lined up. All right, got them mostly lined up. We'll take care of this over here in just a second. Now we're going to go under node controller right here. We're going to start messing with our nodes a little bit. Now, if you've never used node controller, it's actually very, very easy. We're going to basically, we're just going to start kind of playing around with these until we get to the shape that we're looking for. And this might take a bit of practice and a lot of patience. We're going to be dragging all of these around to create a 90 degree there. There's our first 90. Grab it again. Pull this one down to here. Pull this one down as far as it can go. That's as far as I can get it to go. Now, need to... Whoa, not move him, basically. Get you lined back up, sir. There we go. All right, now, for the last part, I've got a little section right here that we uh, set, added that node in for. I am going to change him to a poorly maintained parking lot. This is the 16 meter. And I'm going to lose my little guy right there. That's okay. I can rebuild that. So, now we're going to bring him up to here. Bring these two right here over a little bit. It's all a, just kind of finessing it, really. Good deal. Now, we're going to grab this one. We're going to bring this all the way as far forward as we can. Trying to get some of these nodes can be a little tricky sometimes. Bring that one all the way over there. 
It is definitely getting there. We're going to just drag him up to there a little bit. Will you up to here? Now let's get over here and mess with this node a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to straighten that part right there out. Like so. There we go. Starting to get about where I want it to be. I can come through here and adjust our little alleyway a little bit. If I want to, I can even pull this up some more. So it's not clipping so bad with the back of the buildings. We're not really too concerned with how that edge right there looks. We can clean that up. To pull that out a little bit. Just like so. There we go. Kind of paint in any missing uh, bits of stuff right there. Now this obviously looks a slightly different from my uh, from the one that was you know originally shown. It, I, I've messed around with this several different times. I cannot get it to do the same thing twice. I I, I can't. I can't get it the exact same way two times in a row. It it just won't allow me to do it. It doesn't like all of this that I'm doing. He messing around with it a little bit. But it gets really, really finicky. And that's going to be about as good as we can get it. Uh, we can go right here and actually remove that little grate or whatever it is. And then there we go. Now we just got to decorate it up and put in our parking spaces. And we've got some 90 degree parking right here. All right, there we have it. You can always go in and really try to fine tune to get rid of these little um, little spots right here. This is just where the you know no controller is getting a little angry because of the the width basically of that right there. It's not super happy with it, but it's real hard to get rid of it. You you kind of have to kind of fiddle with it, and you can get it down to where it's almost gone, but it's real. It's, it's real tedious, and you know, it's not that big of a deal. If it doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it. See, I just made it worse, actually. I just made it worse. I didn't want to make it worse. I wanted to make it better. Yeah, you, you got to really get in there and kind of keep messing with it. There we go. It's getting, getting better right there. This one up here could use a little bit of work. But I think you got the idea of what you need to be doing. It's uh, it's very, it's very easy actually. It's a little, it can be a little finicky at times. It takes a little bit of patience and practice, but just with a little bit of moving around with Node Controller, you can make some really unique little parking areas and some alleyways for behind your buildings. Thanks for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas for your cities and cities skylines. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever done something like this before or if this is something brand new to you. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.